Boxer Ryan Garcia was arrested for felony vandalism Saturday evening in Beverly Hills at the Waldorf. Ryan Garcia continues to be embroiled in controversy having been arrested for vandalizing his luxury hotel room Garcia, accused of causing an estimated $15,000 worth of damages. After his arrest, Ryan Garcia faced a medical issue requiring his transfer to Cedarside Medical Center, sparking concern among fans and the media. Despite his situation, Ryan took to social media to share his feelings about being hospitalized, requesting prayers for his well-being and expressing uncertainty about his say speculation arose about a potential 5150 involuntary hold amidst health concerns Ryan continued to post controversial messages on social media drawing comparisons to figures like Donald Trump and Britney Spears his attorney Darren Chavs acknowledged the possibility of additional charges including public intoxication highlighting Ryan's challenging circumstances including his mother's recent cancer diagnosis and mental health struggles Chavs reassured the public of their commitment to providing Ryan with necessary resources and support during this trying time calling for understanding and compassion concerns about Ryan's safety surfaced online, with speculation linking his arrest to his outspoken views on conspiracy theories. Despite challenges, Ryan Garcia remains a polarizing figure invoking both support and criticism across various media platforms. An estimated $15,000 worth of damages. Around the same time, Ryan Garcia predicted on X that something bad would happen to him on June 8th as alarmed as fans who feared for his safety after his arrest. However, some of Garcia's past predictions, such as foreseeing his death on April 12th and predicting an earthquake in East Louisiana on June 6th. Put me in jail, they're blocking my cards, I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. Jeff Mayweather commented that nothing about Ryan Garcia surprises him anymore, suggesting that Ryan often puts out a lot of unwelcome news. Six. Six. Any Six. specific location or? LA and Vegas. June on June 6th. 6th. On June 6th of 2024. All right, that's what I'm going to leave it with. Everybody get the hell out of Six. Los Angeles. <laughs> if you're watching this, <laughs> run. Mom, if you're watching. From his pre-fight antics against Devin Haney to his post-fight positive drug test, Ryan Garcia remains mired in controversy recently. His B-sample drug test yielded positive results, further tarnishing his reputation. Garcia responded with a negative hair test, asserting his innocence and attributing the positive results to contamination throughout his career. Garcia has consistently tested negative and argues that the low levels found suggest contamination. He shared a video of Victor KT praising hair tests for proving innocence, but criticized Garcia's conduct and affirmed the positive urine test for Osterine hinting at potential fines and suspension is the adult defended Garcia, highlighting the significance of the negative hair test. However, Devin Haney dismissed it, accusing Garcia of manipulation. Hans' attorney filed a motion to disqualify Garcia, potentially overturning the fight's outcome. Bill Haney, Devin's father, has been vocal in his criticism of Garcia, particularly after his arrest, raising questions about his integrity. And he's like in general. So you see the news couple 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 hours ago. He's arrest right now. Yep. He's in the police right now. That's so we question. don't know what happened, but some Bill Haney believes Ryan Garcia is guilty and deserves punishment. He clashed with Floyd Mayweather over whether Floyd hindered Devin Haney's success. Ryan claimed Floyd advised him to come in overweight, and Bill questioned if Floyd facilitated Ryan's steroid use. In an interview, Floyd denied advising Ryan and diplomatically mentioned issues with the LDBC and legal concerns. He expressed confusion over Bill's anger, saying he always tried to help Devin and praise for Bill. Bill criticized those who think the Haynes are conspiring against Ryan, calling Garcia a cheater. Eddie Hearn is convinced Ryan had banned substances in his system and believes the fight will be declared in no contest. Dismissing Ryan's hair test is unconvincing unintentional hair samples. And all that kind of stuff that's also not necessarily a line of defense with Osterine and also by just bringing in your own sciences to tell everyone everything's okay do what I mean you have to go through the procedure with the New York State Athletic Commission. Eddie Hearn believes Ryan Garcia might face a 6-12 to 12 month suspension from the State Athletic Commission but could be banned for up to three years if intentional PUs is proven harm, commented it could be six months or a year. But if he intentionally cheated, it could be two or three years. Ryan expressed his hurt over the accusations, stating I feel hurt and damaged by the accusations. I know for a fact that I'm not a cheater. They're trying to take away my greatest victory. He'd added that he would keep fighting even if it meant going to another country or starting his own boxing lead. Despite the controversy, Ryan has supporters, including former opponent Darren Tank Davis 
although Davis later deleted his supportive post, which Devin Haney highlighted on Instagram. Recently, Garcia also had a heated exchange with Tilfono Lopez, who made a provocative statement suggesting that Garcia's mother's breast cancer diagnosis was karma, implying that Garcia had compromised his integrity for a Gatorade sponsorship hurt the most, and that's your love, just your mother, I mean, even Tupac, said a dear mama. There's no greater love than a mother's love I feel for his mom, and may God put his blessing and miracle in there, and I wish I'm nothing but the best in him and his family outside of the sport, and I can talk Ryan Garcia didn't take Teofano Lopez's remarks well, and expressed his outrage on Max saying Timo really said my mom got breast cancer, because I sold my soul if I see him there isn't any fight I will get it back in blood with him, this reaction was seen as hypocritical since Garcia had previously targeted George Cambosos and his wife after Lomachenko defeat. Cambosos Ryan posted George Coso, sucks I'm sorry Cambosos, responded by calling Garcia a cheating dog and accusing him of using performance enhancers. The feud escalated with Cambosos calling Garcia a cheating dog and accusing him of using steroids and suggesting Garcia would be banned from boxing in retaliation. Garcia made an inappropriate comment about Cambosos' wife saying I slept with George Cambosos' wife. No cap fans criticized Garcia for targeting another man's wife. But he justified it by saying Cambosos had falsely accused him of cheating. Cambosos responded harshly, attacking Garcia's mother and questioning his Christian faith, calling him a devil in disguise. Garcia later claimed he was joking, but Cambo continued to condemn Garcia's behavior, highlighting the discrepancy between Garcia's proclaimed faith and his actions. The conflict even extended to a beef with Errol Spence Gerald, where Garcia targeted Spence's girlfriend. The drama between Ryan Garcia and Errol Spence started when Spence responded to a fan and ex dismissing Garcia. Garcia's abilities Garcia threatened to destroy Spence recalling Spence's fight with Terence Bud Crawford and saying he finished what Crawford started Spence retorted by mentioning how Garcia quit in his fight against him Tank Davis calling Garcia a coward and advising others not to give him attention when a fan suggested Spence take the Garcia fight Spence dismissed it as a tuna Garcia responded angrily targeting Spence's girlfriend and mentioning Spence's debt to his coach Derek James he claimed on an Instagram live stream that Spence's girlfriend had been in his DNS answer back I and I might bro like I just did as my take on day kiss kiss a kiss my heart K is in innocent Ryan Garcia's controversial actions whether true or not appeared to be a calculated marketing strategy Shaker Stevenson criticized this approach on X questioning the trend of using someone else's personal life to promote a fight undeterred by criticism. Garcia continued to provoke Errol Spence, claiming interactions with Spence's girlfriend and challenging him to a fight. Garcia stated I damned this girl and called him out Errol Spence. I welcome the challenge. He also posted a photo of Spence from his fight with Crawford asserting he sent a fight offer to Spence through his lawyer Garcia, emphasized his commitment to the bout, setting a tentative date of August 10th at AT and T Stadium in Dallas, Texas. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.